Hello, and we're back, playing more Barney Wise. This is run number 28 in season 2 of the Barney Wise True Repentance, Isaac to Mother Streak. This is the run, this is the big one, where we are going to be matching our season 1 win streak. So uh, let's hope everything goes well this time, and uh, let's get into it. Isaac Hard, and we're going to be going to Mother. Oh boy, what's the seed today? 8 BPM, not VPM, B BPM, RR9B, there we go. Got a uh, got a neat little start here, no curses, very nice. We've got a sack room starting as well, very cool indeed. Looking uh, pretty, pretty nice, pretty nice indeed. Uh, today has been a very busy day. Today is the 24th of January today. <clears throat> I decided uh, not to record another one um, the other day. Oh, well that's not good. Controller disconnected. Um, okay. That is uh, interesting. I, uh, I really hope that doesn't happen again. Uh, that's worrying. <laughs> okay, let's just go with holy water for now. A um, little bit worrying that I hope it doesn't, you know, disconnect in the middle of a room or something. Um, that would be bad. Um, but yeah, that was that was a weird start. Never had that happen before. Um, but yeah, it, interesting day today. It's been a big one. Um, basically, um, this morning I delivered some things. Because uh, I've been doing a little bit of a little bit of the old eBaying. Um, I don't think I mentioned this on the videos yet, but um, because of the potential move that may be happening, um, I've been selling some stuff, selling a, a few bits and pieces. Um, so I've, I've had like a I've got a bunch of magazines that I haven't uh, looked at in, in many years. So I thought I'm gonna sell them. And, um, yeah, I, I've been selling them, and, um, one person has bought them, and it turns out they were actually quite local to, uh, to where I am. So, uh, what we did is we delivered them this morning, hand-delivered them, and, uh, yeah, that was this morning, um, because, of course, there are people coming and looking at this house that I'm currently in to potentially buy. <clears throat> so that was this morning. Um, while they were doing, you know, the viewings and stuff, is when they uh, they sort of came and had a look. Um, and that was that. Uh, then today I played Baldur's Gate 3 on stream, and uh, oh my, it, it, it went very well. Had a couple of really good moments. Um, and by a couple of good moments, I mean moments that were sort of more memorable, <laughs> shall we say. Um, I we we had a, a a double double team wipe, um, you know my my team died entirely twice, so that was always great. Um, but that's fine, that's fine. Um, it's it was they, they were both entertaining deaths, um, should we say? There was some sort of purple lizard man who um, broke free. Who was level 5, and we were all level 2, and um, I got completely destroyed, like straight away, so um, that was great. And uh, and then the other thing was, I was exploring like a sort of ruin um, at the very start of the game, and of course, um, I ran into a trap, and um, it sent more or less hundreds of fire traps off at once. And um, everyone melted, so that was great. But um, yeah, memorable times, I would say. Memorable times. I also um, the, the the cool thing is is that in that same cavern or um, place, um, we ended up uh, actually taking out a bunch of enemies with a candle. <laughs> I used a candle to win. And that was so, so cool that you can even do that. Um, 
so yeah, that was great. Basically, I, I, I put like through grease on the ground and then threw a candle at it to set it on fire, which I didn't think was going to work. Uh, that's a really good tears up right there. Uh, this that's one of the tears ups that can uh, <coughs> that can uh, break the tear cap. So I definitely want that. Uh, so yeah, that was, that was pretty good. And of course, I then uh, after the stream today, I downloaded and edited all of the, the clips and everything um, for the main channel. Yeah, the main Xantel channel, because I've got a um, I, I I did that entire fight with the uh, the candle for my main channel, and then I've also got the clips which I downloaded for um, a highlight video, potential highlight video in the future. Um, because what I tend to do is all the clips that get downloaded from the stream, I will, um, you know, I'll download and put them all into a big compilation, you know, um, and that's that's what I've done today. <laughs> and now I'm recording an Isaac video, so it's as you can tell, it's been extremely busy, um, a lot going on, but it's okay. I'm doing all right. A um, little bit tired, but hey ho, what can you say? Uh, that was Dross 1, so we can move on to the next floor now. Let's go. <clears throat> so yeah, a bit, bit busy, but that's fine. Oh, really? Curse is lost again? Okay, well, we got to memorize this floor. Okay. Let me... Uh, i got to think about this floor a little bit more. I don't like having to think about the floor, but I have to. Um for this one occasion. Oh yeah, I had Wormwood last time, so maybe we're going to be able to take out the boss um, with the loss this time. I don't know. Um, I'd say, honestly, th this is probably one of my biggest fears, being mapless when having to be lost. Because, um, you know, I will be lost. <laughs> so, uh, there you go. <clears throat> okay. So far, it's, it's it's very linear. So far, the floor um, that's actually pretty good. That's actually a good good floor layout. As safe as we can be, I think. Let's just roll that. We'll take charm tears. Uh, wow, we're a mother transformation already. Wow, that's pretty cool. You don't get to uh, see that every day. What's that? Three mother items in a row. Yeah, three in a row. Is uh, very unlikely, but there you go. Hey, right, let's go. Um, also, another thing that happened today. Another thing I know. Um, I got invited to this like Twitch enhanced streaming beta. Um. I did opt in for it, but I'll put it this way, it's not what I expected for it to be. Um, I thought it was going to be AV1. I wanted it to be the AV1 codec. I was like, oh hell yeah, I get invited to the AV1 codec test. And I was like, hell yeah, I can stream in 120 frames per second now, but no, it wasn't. Um, I don't really understand what it was, if I'm honest. Um, I don't really understand the point of this test. Um, it wasn't really explained at all whatsoever. So, um, and I had to, you know, essentially um, go join a Discord server. And from then it was like, okay, you need to replace some files in your OBS to get the new thing. And I was like, you know what? I've got Binding of Eyes videos to do. And I've got a lot of streaming to do, especially starting a new game. I'm not going to use this time to test my, you know, OBS settings. Uh, you know, I kind of like consistency, you know? Consistency is what I'm all about. So, I don't really want to mess around with some new settings and potentially break everything. So, I thought, you know what, I'm just not going to bother. I'm not going to mess around with that. I'll, I'll use the new AV1 settings as and when they're available to me. Um, I don't even know if I can access them as well, because... Apparently you need a 40 series card or higher to access them, and I don't have that. I have a 3070. So, 
Apparently I don't even have access to it. So it's all very confusing, and it wasn't made very clear um, to me whatsoever. So I thought, well, I'm just not going to bother with being confused. I'm going to do things properly. Stick to what I know. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know? And that's kind of the way I, uh, I went. <clears throat> so yeah. Uh, should we do the boss? Uh, it's a tricky one. I think we try it. I think we give it a go. It's a bit tricky. It is, um, it is the, the slidey, slidey poo man. Um, we could give it a go. It's a bit of a risk. Would I do this on run a thousand? Probably not. Um, but yeah, it, it could be, could be good, um, doing this. It could have a purpose. Could be uh, a good choice. Because I think the important bit about this game is being ahead. You know, if you're ahead of the game, then uh, you're in a good position, you know. Okay, nice. Um, yeah, let's try the boss. Oh, look at that. Oh, phase one in one go. And he's frozen again, and you get the thing. Oh, that was perfect. Absolutely perfect. Could not get better than that. I'm going to re-roll that. I'll take that. Consolation Bros is good. Little speed up. I could use a speed up. Yeah, that, that boss could not have gone any better. That was textbook perfect, I would say. Textbook perfection. So we've got a knife piece. Let's head back. We haven't even opened the door yet, which is, uh, yeah, I'm glad I didn't use my bombs. Because that could have messed us up. I think the secret room might be above that right there. Um. Oh, go on then. Can't can't help myself. Now I'll just take that. Just take that. Okay, it's not over there. Yeah, I think the the secret room is over there. But I'll open open this first. Juan. A two. Let's check the secret room, because I'm pretty sure I know where that is now. <clears throat> I think it's here. No? Fair enough. Could be to the left as well now that I think about it. Actually, no, it can't be there. Top secret is definitely there, though. 100%. Alright, that's fine. No worries. Let's uh, move on to the mines. And we get a blind floor. Okay. Fair enough, game. I guess I know where I'm not going this floor. That's in the item room. Because, uh, you know, I I'd be very happy with, uh, with getting a planetarium instead. Reminder, I, I still haven't forgotten about the idea of adding mods into the streak. Um, but yeah, as I said, we will do it once the streak is over. Which, um, shall not be today. I will not allow it. I will not allow the streak to end here. 28. Again. Um, it's not possible. 228. Losing in a row. I don't want it to be, like, the cursed number for this streak, you know? I want to actually make it. I want to make it. I'm hoping around 50 this time. And I'd be happy with 50. <clears throat> Happy with 50, 51, that sort of thing, which is my personal best. I think, honestly, if you can get a personal best every single time, you're doing something well, you're doing something right. So, um, that's the plan. Get to around 50. Of course, I will keep going, um, as and when we get to 50. 
if we get to pick 50. Um, and yeah, we'll just keep going until I die. Like, legitimately die from being too weak or, you know, just getting killed by a boss. That's, that's how it's going to go. Oh, I shouldn't have gone in there. I'm a dingus. Oh, what do you got? I'll come baby. Hey, I'm, I'm fine with that. I don't usually take blind items, but hey, that was a, that was a good one there. I thought we we're in a decent position. So why not? Why not potentially mess myself up? Because, you know, it could be something awful like Ludo or soy milk or whatever. But it wasn't. It was good. So, we're okay. But I, I, I mean, realistically, I shouldn't have gone in there. It's turned out good, though. I always like a familiar. I do say this every now and then. I think a familiar is always, always great to pick up. One of the best uh, things you can hope for in item rooms. Uh, ooh, Faith up. That's good. Um, and yeah, maybe hopefully we can get some sort of angel room soon. Um, I hope we don't get one this floor. That would not be great. But soon. Okay, what do we get? Let's try for a uh, magic mush. No. Nothing. Ooh, that's good. Let's uh, let's let's make it happy number five hundred, eh? Hey, back to five hundred. We'll celebrate as well. With a luck up. Range down. Speed up. Cool. Overall, pretty good run so far. I like the luck ups. Not that we have any fear effects at the moment, but... Oh yeah, could be good. Ow. Alright, let's uh, move on, I guess. I think the secret might be here underneath, actually, but... Since it's a blind floor, there's not really... Not really a huge point in checking. Ah, you. You. Ah, oh, you there, a traveller. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm being weird today. Oh, saved by the minecart. Now we get a, uh, a a thing, an angel room. Well, oh, oh, game. Why this one, Seraphim? Sure. Why game? <laughs> the one time I can't see. Uh. Hey, I'm alright with Seraphim. But I would have at least liked to see my godhead. You know. Rather than missing it. Hey, I mean, if anyone wants to check the seed to see what other items were, were here, I'd, uh, I'd be interested in knowing. Roll it. Dead Sea Scroll? Really? The Dead Sea Scrolls. Oh dear. Oh dear. What a sad little life. Alright. Cool. I think we're ready to move on. Let's, uh, let's go. Uh, it's next floor, right? Yeah, next floor is the one where we need to get the key. Let's go. Well then, nice. 20 minutes. This is uh, yeah, a short one. Short run so far. I don't know about you, but I can smell clearer than I've ever smelt before right here. With that, that secret room. Easiest smell I have smelt today. See what we got. 
We do need something. We do need something to keep us going. Um, so I don't know, maybe the game can give you something nice this floor. Maybe. I don't know. Just, just a suggestion game. That uh, demon beggar is interesting to me. If we get some health, some spare health, could be good. But um, I'm, I am doubtful because, of course, we do have to uh, open the door to this floor as well. Ow. go. Um, let's avoid Ashbit 2 boss for now. Because I would quite like to get the uh, the knife piece before that. So we could use the knife as a weapon. Really another golden? Interesting. Okay, didn't last that long. Is that all three buttons? I think that is. Let's check. That's all the buttons. Yeah, it is. Cool. <sighs> it's good to use to, to, to get this knife piece as quick as you can. Um, of course, so then you can use the knife as an actual weapon. So yeah, that's pretty good. Um, but yeah, busy day today. Busy day. But uh, it's looking hopeful for uh, the sale of this house. It's looking hopeful. So uh, that's good. That's all I'll say. Nothing set in stone yet, but looking hopeful. Once again, I just hope that the new place has internet as good as this internet. Um, if not better. That's all I could ask for. If it's worse, then well, what am I going to do? How am I going to stream the internet's uh, garbo? It shouldn't be, but uh, yeah, a little scary. Should be okay though. That was spooky. That wasn't great. This is a weird one. Nice. We escaped. So I just hope we get some health. If, uh, you know, I don't like being at four hearts. Or less. Okay, there's, there's a bit. We can use some of that. That's good. Um, I wonder, is the... Oh no, no, secret room can't be there. Under here. So that's fine. Because I was wondering man, if it's there. I mean, you could always get into the top secret or the, the, the challenge room or whatever. It looks like we got a world's hardest game right here. Yeah, there you go. Just got to get within that pat pattern of him. And you're good. Uh, a little brimstone is actually pretty good because that gives a conjoint. I don't usually like like it, but yeah, is what it is. Uh, don't have any more items to re-roll as of yet. Um, I think I'm just gonna blow these up. 
or the one of them because that gives us a higher chance at an angel only five percent it's nothing crazy but you never know ah this boss it's my favorite as you know it's the uh the one boss that they didn't add when it was actually uh you know well i didn't ever fight when i was going through the game for realsies originally and they added it like months later after I'd beaten the game. So I never actually fought this guy properly. So I, I didn't know how to take him out properly. Um, there you go. Spruce, we'll do that. Let's go and pick up the other heart. And then we'll pay the other one. We could... Uh, could have paid the other one out then go in there <laughs> uh, in the challenge room but we don't even have a teleport to get out so it'd be a bit risky hmm so do that and I'll just take that with us as well definitely want that and uh, let's go I guess two hearts into the next floor a little bit spooky but uh, I don't think we could have done anything else to get more. So uh, yeah, a little bit, a little bit weird, a little bit weird. Ooh, don't know how to dodge that. Press the secret buttons. All right, we'll see what we get because maybe we can play those. I don't know. I'm hopeful. Great. Yeah, my one tip for those things, those brimstone laser dudes, um, make sure you are always standing horizontal to them and never diagonal. And you should be good. Is it clear I don't like big rooms? <laughs> I, I, I find myself just avoiding them as much as possible. Just wait for that. Yeah, this is going pretty well. Going pretty well so far. Ooh, okay. A little damage up, I like that. Even though it's a little speed down, I'm cool with that. We haven't actually had a damage up yet, so uh, I can't complain. I find that all the damage ups we tend to get in this streak are, are almost always this. <laughs> Just a small rock. It's every single time. It's the only damage that we get. Well, give it a little roll. Nah. Nah. Acrography. Hmm. It's, it's definitely an option. I am tempted, but it's not great. I kind of need better tears. It's, it's a very late game item. Very late game. By very late game, I mean too late game for me right now. It's a difficult one, but I have to re-roll it. Not the easiest choice, but had to be done. I could have taken it. Could, but uh, I'm not worth. I, I'm not. I'm not willing to do that today. 
when it's this this sort of you know value of a run you know make or break the streak I want to make sure I win you know lovers however is interesting I am interested in that item I have to be a bit careful though because we could use that in our item room get another item to potentially spawn in for a broken heart Broken Heart is going to be a little bit dodgy though, but we don't have any other um, any other Broken Hearts, or we don't really have a lot of Soul Hearts to mess around with, so I think we're okay. Right. Well, I guess we uh, I guess we do it. Let's go and use the Lover's Card, although. No, we're not going to get an injury room this time. It's 9%. Chances are too low. If we get it, then whatever. It's fine. So I think the plan is, as we go into our item room, we place down the lover's card, which will spawn an item, but give us a broken heart. There you go. And uh, we just do a double roll. We'll take concussive. And yeah, it does cost one heart as well, which I, I don't like, but hey, so be it. Now, I could have taken the, um, the poison touch. Could have done. Because that is um, syringe part two. Because we already have synthol. But, uh, I don't know. So I'm pretty sure those enemies, these, um, these big ones, are programmed to not shoot their laser beam when they're off screen. Oh, that was a bit weird. Yeah, the soundtrack <laughs> messed up a second. So, you know, you're gonna be okay. You're gonna be safe, essentially. Uh, oh, it's an XL floor as well. Ooh, okay, didn't know that. Changes things a bit. Right. I thought this was a bit big, this floor. We've still got a lot to play, though. Perhaps we still have quite a lot of floor left. Because um, you do have to go all the way back to that demon beggar. Um, at the end of the floor. To, uh, to use all of my hearts for. Maybe we can get something nice from there. Yeah, I'll take you. You were helpful last time. I mean, uh, you know, Dirty Mind isn't great. It's not a run saver, but hey, it's going to help us out. And I don't really want to travel that much further. Oh my god. That was a bit mean. Maybe shouldn't have taken that yet. It's okay though. Okay. It looks like... Doesn't the map look like Squidward if he was a dragon? <laughs> <laughs> like this rumor in now is his nose. Sounds odd, but I wasn't wrong. It now doesn't because we've explored more of the floor, but at the time it did. Now it looks like a dog with those massive like cheeks as a dragon. You know, like uh, Pluto from the Disney franchise. Not the franchise, the Disney company. Looks like that. Oh, 
stop slapping. Uh, ooh. A re-roller machina. Well, that's not nice. I have to stand on the spikes to re-roll. I don't like that. That's not very really nice. I think I might just uh, hard roll it. Probably the best thing to do. Let's just do it. I'm not going to waste my time. Hey, that's alright. Cupid's arrow, sure. Piercing shots. See, I am a little bit afraid um, of our health situation. A little bit. Uh, oh yeah, we do have this room as well. So I just want to check and see if you get soul hearts from this. No? Okay, fair enough. Um, what about these? Two hearts? Okay, okay, that's not bad. Hmm. Yeah, let's go and pay this out now. One, two, three. Use it. What are you, range down? No. Okay, we got a bone heart at least, that's pretty good. Yeah, this is looking a bit spicy. Just kind of need a little bit more health to keep us going, you know? Yeah, hangman, don't want that. Don't remember what the hangman does. I know it's not great. Something to, I think, greed, maybe? It might spawn a greed or something, I can't remember. Could always be, um,. Some sort of... I don't know. I don't remember. That's part of the street, though. If you remember, you're, an, uh, you're at an advantage. But I don't remember. And that's part of it. That's, that's why the streak is uh, so fun. If I know what things do, then I'm at an advantage. If I don't know what things do, then... That's, you know, my fault, really. Alright, let's uh, go in here, then. Okay, probably one of the better bosses we could have asked for. What, hit me? Well, I'm alive. Sty, damage and range up, that's okay, I guess. Just okay. I'm trying to get double shots off onto it. Two, three. Okay, not, not the best outcome. Avoid the laser beam. One, two, Three. Remember, if you're standing in front of any of the eyes at any point in that battle, it is always 100% going to shoot a laser beam. So, just a thing to remember. Take a bit of damage up, and let's go. I like this move. That's probably one of the better moves. Circle move. You just stand in the middle. Getting lucky with another circle move. Beautiful. Okay, got very lucky with that battle. Very, very lucky. Okay, well, I think this is probably our weakest run into the corpse yet. 
but I think we'll be okay. I think. I hope. Not much we can do. Apart from the hope that we'll be okay. At least this is a, a relatively easy set of floors, in my opinion. I genuinely think that the previous floor is harder. Like, for real. Okay. See the now here, maybe? Secret room? No? Okay, nothing down there. Yeah, I don't know. It's just the enemies on this floor are just less dangerous. Right now, give us all the money. Penguin could be useful. We'll keep hold of that. Never know. Reminds me, and this is a kind of big graphic here. Um, one of the uh, well, I saw a post the other day on the uh, the Isaac subreddit saying, uh, like ranking the uh, the runes, finding those runes, like you know this for example, um, based on the comfortability of putting them um, up 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 there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Needless to say, that one was the lowest ranked, and uh, the most comfortable. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's just what the Isaac subreddit is like. Up the uh, the puta. Yum. Yeah. Yeah, the the, the poot hole. So uh, yeah, that was a uh, that was an interesting Reddit moment right there. I think we go in here with Soul of Isaac. This could be big. Oh yay, this boss. Ugh, oh, I hate this boss. I do I donut like I donut like this boss. Now how I avoid that? How do? There was poison at the top and there was a brimstone laser at the bottom. How do you avoid that? Ow. Well, there goes that. And uh, almost certainly my... Uh... Yeah. My angel room is gone as well. So that's great. Um, I guess I'll take that for the soul heart. I guess. Hmm. <sighs> Okay, fair enough. Let's go check the secret room because there is one here. Hmm, I was kind of hoping we'd get one there, but we didn't. Hmm, going a little tricky. It's one of those runs. Just one of those. You get them every now and then. Just a run where nothing goes your way. I was kind of hoping we'd get an item there. Let's check our... Uh, check our arcade. I can see forever. Ooh. Oh, oh, this could be big. Okay, that's good. I think I just won that item, honestly. Luck foot's great. Spider babs. Okay, well we got all three of them. That's great. Um, 
Do I want all three of them though? I think I do. Better pills. Um, Botfly, that's, you know, he'll just attack tears that are around us. Spidermon. All around, really good. I think we'll just spend the rest of it on this. And you see, I, I could, if I really wanted to. Wow, okay. Never had that happen before. Um, yeah, I could if I really wanted to. Have uh, re-rolled all of those. With uh, Soul of Isaac. So we could at least get the choice between if we wanted to keep them or not. Um, I don't know why I didn't. I really should have done, I think. That would have been the best choice. Can't even get another... Um, angel room now, so I really should have done, but I wasn't thinking. It's fine. Soul of Isaac will stay with us, though. That was great, though. I'm re I'm really glad I uh, I spent the time to to explore that. So yeah, Luck Foot essentially gives you one luck up, and it also makes all pill effects um, neutral or good. They cannot be bad. So that range down we found earlier cannot be a range down, it can only be a range up. Um, that sort of thing. So any pill is a good one now, or does nothing. Um, Botfly, of course, is spinning around and it'll attack projectiles coming at us, so that's good for defense. And then, of course, Spider Mod um, will allow us to see the health bar of enemies. And uh, I believe, I, I, I think, it also might freeze enemies or give a status effect to them. I can't remember what it does, but I think it has a chance of doing that. Okay. So that was a, uh, a chest item, so chest items can, well, will always be good. 100% always be good, apart from Bob's brain. Um, but based on how many good items to bad items there are, it's, it's worth it. And even so, Bob's brain isn't the worst. It's okay. It, it's just alright. I wouldn't take it if I had the choice. Because, uh, you know, random explosions are never a good thing, as I've said before. Um, but yeah. Okay, can't go in there. I am a little spooked, but we, we should be okay. We do have four soul hearts now, so we have a little bit of uh, protection. So I think we'll be okay. We'll, we'll just clutch this. Just get through it. Um, actually, I've just realised the, uh, the trinket in the last room is actually really good for us. Petrify poo poo. Because uh, with Dirty Mind, we will get random poos appearing now. So, uh, you know, we could always get uh, some soul hearts from those poos. Not touching you. Uh, secret room? knew it. Come on, please be what I want you to be. Aww. Wasn't the steam sale. Oh well. I mean, I was hoping for the steam sale because we could re-roll it into another secret room item. We've got the soul of Isaac we could re-roll it with as well. So, you know, would have been nice. Would have been nice this Christmas. Explosion there. What's in here? Ah, uh, get out. It's fine. I'm all right. Well, game <laughs> I had a bit of a problem there. Struggled, just like my uh, my controller. 
earlier on. Which I don't know why it happened. Um, I, it's probably just because yesterday I did connect my controller to my Nintendo Switch. Um, for a brief moment. So, uh, yeah, maybe that was it. Maybe it doesn't like the, uh, the whole connection thing. I'll keep that in mind for future, future runs. I would not like it if I died because my Nintendo Switch connected to my controller or the other way around. It has happened before. I, I've, not not in the streak or during recording, but it did happen one time not long ago. I was up to about 20 in a streak and my run died because my Switch controller connected to my switch and not uh, not the game and it just made me constantly run into a wall and I couldn't press escape or pause or anything just I just kept walking like that and I died so yeah um, it is now time to face the boss I have a feeling we're going to see the beach ball attack today just got a good feeling about it so well let's see Give it a go. Give it a go this Christmas. Beach ball. I knew it. There we go. Uh, is that, I think the second, is it second or third beach ball sighting? I think it's our second. Maybe we saw it another time though. Actually no, I think it's third. That's the third one. I don't remember though. Ow. Nice. You do the banana maneuver and forward them back. Zigzag maneuver. Zigzag maneuver. Just got to get into it, which is the difficult bit. Now, time for the banana maneuver again. Circular banana. Look at that. Circle. And then you go back on yourself around the other side. Left and then right. And then center. Left, right, center. I hope um, watching these videos and me explaining the, the different moods can actually help people beat the game. Because that, that'd be great. To beat this route. Because I know I really did struggle on this route the first time I did it. Um, I thought this was the hardest boss in the game. And I still think it is one of the hardest. Um, besides like Delirium, which is just more of an unfair... Um, sort of boss. Um, but yeah, definitely one of the harder bosses. Um, so yeah, I hope these videos help. Anyway, that is all for now. Um, we've done it. We beat the run. Um, I, I don't know what to call this run. <laughs> I genuinely don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, anyway, that's all for now. Thank you all for coming along. I will see you all. And next time for the run. We are now back up to 28. Look at that. Back up to 28. And so next time we don't mess it up. <laughs> next time's the one. Next time is the run. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. And remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you later. Goodbye.